Hey y'all, Westlake here. Hey, today we are jumping into a new series of training content where we're gonna do some mix breakdowns and just learn about some of the basics of mixing. So basics of EQ, basics of compression, basics of, um, we're gonna talk about DSing a little bit for vocals. We're gonna talk about using delay and reverb. And um, we're gonna use a song from volume 22 um, that Beth Bernard sang called Nothing Without You. Um, this video series is going to rely a little bit on another series that's already um, in the Worship Initiative library. It's the Tech Talk series that Shane Everett did with Travis Brockway. Um, Travis is a brilliant front of house guy. He designed our studio um, here in Dallas, and he's just a genius. And so he breaks down even some more technical stuff about the basics of EQ and compression, but I wanted to open up a session and try some of those things out on an actual source. So making EQ changes on a vocal, compressing a vocal, and things like that. So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to use Beth's vocal because it's easy to hear changes um, on all of those things treating a vocal. So you'll hear it in context, you'll hear it soloed, and I think it's going to be helpful for you. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump in, um, starting with EQ. So EQ, um, as you know, is how you change the color of a sound. So whether that's something's too dark or too bright, you can choose a section of frequencies and uh, turn them up or turn them down. You can choose how narrow or how broad of a frequency range you want to adjust. So that's called the Q. Um, then you've got cutting, which is making turning frequencies down. You've got boosting, which is turning frequencies up. And so I'm just going to pull up Beth's vocal and make some moves and show you why I did what I did. So here we go. I'm nothing without you I'm barely breathing Your heart is my refuge Oh, oh I know I'm not So you can see what I'm doing on our vocal there. I've got this low shelf that's cutting out some low frequencies, um, really up to about 380 hertz. Um, it sounds really great soloed with the EQ off, but because when it's in context, um, there's all sorts of other instruments that kind of have that low mid frequency range. I'm using EQ on Beth's voice to kind of carve some of that out so that there's room for other things to kind of take up that space so that Beth's voice isn't just taking up the entire frequency spectrum. And then because a, a more chill song, I used this um, these two EQ bands. They're kind of narrow cues up around 3 to 4K. Um, and I'm just cutting some of that presence out of her voice. And we EQ'd this really well going in. There's EQ that's already happening when we recorded it that's doing some of the the work for me already. So I'm just kind of sweetening and enhancing here, but what I'm doing when I'm EQing, I'll, I'll show you this here, but what, I'm, what I try to do when I'm listening to a raw source is what feels like it's too loud, and I try to identify that frequency by turning up an EQ band and just sweeping this frequency, frequency spectrum until I find a, what I just call a hot spot when something sort of resonates and sticks out really loud um, compared to everything else, and that's a spot that I know I need to turn down. So. Um, I will show you that with this uh, second band right here, and we'll go from there so you can hear it. I'm nothing without you. I'm barely breathing your heart. So you see, right when I got to about 290, 300 hertz, something around there, it kind of jumped out and got way louder when I swept to that frequency range. And so that's something that I know I need to turn down a little bit. And so you can do that on any source, whether it's a guitar, a kick drum, a bass, anything. Um, listen for those trouble spots, sweep the frequency spectrum to find it, and then just turn that down. Um, and depending on how much stuff is resonating in a given area, you can, 
use a, a wider queue so that you just have to use one EQ band rather than a bunch of really skinny EQs um, to carve out those things. Um, so that's that's a pretty basic um, EQ overview. The Q, again, you can see here on band two is how skinny or how narrow of a frequency range you're selecting to boost or cut. Um, the gain is turning it up or turning it down. Um, and then the frequency knob is selecting what frequencies you're using. 